the 10-day presidency, the brief and fleeting reign of Paul Mwanga, in the annals of Uganda's political history, one of the most curious and fleeting chapters belongs to Paul Mwanga, who served as the country's president for just 10 days. This brief period, which occurred in July 1985, remains a defining moment in Uganda's post-independence history, reflecting the instability and power struggles that characterized much of the nation's leadership during the 1970s and 1980s. Mwanga's presidency was born out of a violent coup and an unstable political climate. At the time, Uganda was still reeling from years of turmoil, following the brutal dictatorship of Idi Amin, whose reign from 1971 to 1979 left the country in ruins. After Amin's ousting, the country went through a series of weak and fractured governments, none of which could restore peace or address the underlying issues of corruption, ethnic divisions, and economic decline. By the mid-1980s, the military junta led by Tito Okello had failed to bring stability, and the country was on the brink of collapse, the rise of Paul Mwanga. Paul Mwanga was a career military officer and one of the prominent figures in Uganda's military elite. Born in 1947 in the western region of Uganda, Mwanga joined the Ugandan army and rose through the ranks, building a reputation as a loyal and competent officer. He was closely aligned with the military faction that had taken control of the government after Amin's fall. But his rise to the presidency was marked by betrayal and intrigue. In 1985, as Uganda's political situation became increasingly chaotic, Mwanga played a pivotal role in the coup that removed General Tito Okello, who was the head of state at the time. The coup was initiated by a group of disgruntled military leaders who felt Okello had failed to address the nation's growing problems. They hoped to restore order and put an end to the civil war that had engulfed Uganda for years. Mwanga, an ambitious figure, has seized the moment to place himself at the helm of the government. The ten days of Mwanga's presidency, after Okello was ousted, Mwanga was appointed as the president of Uganda by the military junta, which he now led. His presidency, however, was short-lived. On July 27, Atano, Mwanga assumed the title of president, and within days, he found himself embroiled in a political and military struggle that would define his very brief tenure. The country, which had been scarred by years of dictatorship and violence, was still struggling to find a viable path toward peace and reconciliation. During his short time in power, Mwanga was faced with immense challenges not only from political rivals but also from the ongoing conflict between various factions of the Ugandan military. The most significant threat came from the National Resistance Army, NRA, led by Yoweri Museveni, which had been waging a guerrilla war against the government. The NRA had grown in strength throughout the 1980s, gaining popular support among Ugandans disillusioned with the previous regimes. As president, Mwanga attempted to consolidate power but he lacked the support of the broader population and military factions. His government struggled to maintain control over the capital, Kampala, and was unable to stave off the advances of Museveni's forces. The country was on the brink of collapse, with civil war continuing to rage in the countryside, and Mwanga's presidency seemed doomed from the outset, the end of Mwanga's rule. The decisive blow to Mwanga's presidency came on July 29, just two days after he assumed office. Then Ra, having launched an offensive against the junta, marched into Kampala and effectively ended Mwanga's rule. The government fell, and Mwanga fled the country. His brief tenure as president was over almost as soon as it had begun. Mwanga's departure marked the end of the military junta's hold on power and the beginning of a new chapter in Uganda's history. The NRA, led by Yoweri Museveni, emerged as the dominant force in Uganda, and Museveni would go on to assume the presidency in 1986, where he remains today. The legacy of Paul Mwanga despite his brief reign. Paul Mwanga's presidency is emblematic of the political instability and military rule that plagued Uganda for much of the 20th century. His rule, lasting just 10 days, was a reminder of the fragile nature of power in a country scarred by decades of dictatorship, rebellion, and civil war. Mwanga's short-lived tenure also highlights the difficulty of navigating Uganda's complex political landscape, where military leaders often rose to power through coups, only to be ousted by their own rivals.
While Mwanga is largely remembered for his failure to establish a stable government, his role in the military junta and his involvement in Uganda's post-Amin period cannot be overlooked. He represented the military elite that, after years of instability, still had a stranglehold on the country's politics. His brief presidency, although unsuccessful, was a significant chapter in Uganda's long journey toward finding political stability. Conclusion, the 10 days that Paul Mwanga spent as president of Uganda are a testament to the country's precarious political history. His rise to power, coupled with the dramatic collapse of his government, illustrates the fragile nature of leadership in a country recovering from years of military rule. Mwanga's presidency may have been brief, but it remains an important part of Uganda's struggle for peace and democracy. His story is a stark reminder of the challenges that come with political transitions in a nation struggling to rebuild from the aftermath of dictatorship and war.